So the Oscars happened, they were a thing, and everything, everywhere, all at once, absolutely did some slam dunks. I tweeted about this, follow me over on Twitter, at Reviews, uh, and I just said, god damn, like, uh, deservingly so. Uh, great film, uh, brilliant film, in fact, very, very good film. And Michelle Yeoh was staggering in this film, really, really great performance from her, uh, and... Yeah, just, I, I honestly, I couldn't think of a more deserving film. Maybe The Whale, perhaps, this year. Uh, and, obviously, you've got the usual rounds of nonsense of people being butthurt and snubbery and all this kind of stuff. But, on an objective level, this did, this is a great film. This is a, a really, really decent film. And I think, yeah, deserved. So, it did Best Picture, Actress, Director. It was like Best Supporting Actress. It absolutely slam dunked. A great film. If you've seen it, what did you think of this? What did you think of everything, everywhere, all at once? I thought, great concept. I thought, very, very interesting concept. Great messages. Just, yeah. Beautiful film from start to finish, actually. Beautifully shot. And again, I reiterate, Michelle Yeoh. What a fantastic, fantastic actress. Super, super good. So, of course, for genre fans, I mean, this is what the Oscars are all about, basically, genre fans nowadays, or genre films these days. There's nothing really mainstream in there. The one which was mainstream was Angela Bassett for Best Supporting Actress. And loads of people are like, oh, she's been snubbed because Jamie Lee Curtis got it for uh, everything ever all at once. But no, there's there's absolutely no... Look, Angela Bassett did a great job in uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but is it, is it an Oscar-worthy performance? No. No, it was one note, morning, she was good at that, but Jamie Lee Curtis did multiple layers within Everything Everywhere All at Once. So yeah, A24's Everything Everywhere All at Once, what a great thing for A24 as well, to get this. One, to even think that this film was, you know, worth it, because can you imagine reading the script to this on paper, you'd just be like, Jesus, what is this? But they obviously saw something in it. Good on them for doing that as well. Massive. Like A24 just goes from strength to strength. So good on them. But everything ever all at once got off to a strong start. With early best supporting actor and actress wins for Ki Hu Huan. I'm butchering that, I know. Uh, and Jamie Lee Curtis. Amazing for Ki. What, and his Instagram is, is amazing. It's so much fun. It's literally him. Like, just taking selfies with lo <laughs> loads of celebrities. <laughs> and he's having, like, the, the time of his life <laughs> just running around taking selfies with everyone. He looks like the least Hollywood person possible because he's like, yeah, I'm having a great time, yeah! <laughs> it's, it's really endearing. It makes you, ah, God love him. Like, it makes you really go, ah, this guy's cool, you know? Again, least Hollywood person out there. He's just like, I'm having the best time, <laughs> the time of my life. Uh, anyways, and, and he really deserved uh, Best Supporting Actor in that film. He was very good. He was brilliant. Uh, and Jamie Lee Curtis, again, was really, really good. If you're thinking about everything, like everyone that they had up there, there wasn't, there wasn't a massively strong competition. And these two people were standouts in this film. But anyway, by the time the show had come out, uh, to an end, three hours, three hours of this Oscar crap, Jesus. Um, everything Everywhere All at Once had taken seven Oscars. Seven. So Best Actress, Michelle Yeoh, yes, she absolutely deserved that. Best Director, yes. Best or Original Screenplay. There's nothing... That, so I would... I would debate with people, or, or with myself anyway, that The Whale could have taken Best Original Screenplay. Both of those, both Everything Ever All at Once and The Whale, I think are very deserving of Original Screenplay. Absolutely. Uh, but hey, Everything Ever All at Once, getting that, I don't, I don't begrudge it. Best Editing, yes. The editing in Everything Everywhere All at Once is... So good. You think for the budget that they had? Christ alive. That's some seriously good editing. Uh, and then obviously best picture. 
And again, I would debate with people that you 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 could have gone one of a few ways. You could have gone the whale. And I know a lot of people would say, oh, well, you know, um, Top Gun Maverick should have got that as well. If you're looking at you're looking at the type of films that are out there for the Oscars to vote for, Best Picture, Everything Out or Everywhere All at Once and The Whale are the go-tos. You've got to remember this is by the peers of Hollywood. They're going to be a little bit more, I don't know, less mainstream. I don't agree with it, by the way. It's just logic. But Everything Out Everywhere All at Once over Top Gun Maverick? Yeah, I would say so. Like, Best Picture? I'd say objectively, Everything Everywhere All at Once is a better film. It juggles many different themes uh, much, much, well, with finesse. Top Gun Maverick is a great film. I really enjoyed that film. I thought it was very, very, very good. But is it the best picture? No. But that doesn't detract from how good that film is because it's a great film. Um, but yeah, they're like, oh, there's a bit of snark when Curtis won because uh, many, many people felt Andrew Bassett should have won it. No. No. Um, absolutely not. Now, they say Stephanie uh, Sue should have got it as well. Maybe. But Angela Bassett, no, she shouldn't have won it. Uh, and she had a face like a slapped ass when Jamie Lee Curtis was announced. So that's disappointing. And it's funny as well, because when I went on Twitter, there's people going, oh, I thought this was all about diversity. I'm like, are Asians not diverse? What are you, what are you talking about, guys? Asians are diverse. This is still diversity. But again, that's... America for you, viewing race only through two lenses, white and black. Uh, as expected, Brendan Fraser walked away with Best Actor for his performance in The Whale, and again, deservingly so. Brendan Fraser's performance in The Whale is just staggeringly good. Uh, Del Toro's stunning adaptation of Pinocchio won Best Animated Feature, and so it should. That is a epic, epic um, animated feature. It's beautifully made, absolutely beautifully made, and, it, and again, deservingly so. Uh, All Quiet on the Western Front won four Oscars. Interesting. Uh, international feature, cinematography, original score, production design. I'm surprised by some of that. You know, like cinematography and stuff. There, I think there was... In fairness, I do think there was better cinematography out there. But still, fine. Uh, original score? Meh, maybe. Uh, Banshees, Tar, Fableman's, Elvis, Triangle of Sadness walked away with no Oscars. I am surprised with that. Uh, mainly because I thought Elvis would have taken one or two. But yeah, I didn't take any. So, there you go. Just uh, just a video to promote everything ever all at once, quite frankly. I think it's a great film. Uh, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. If you haven't seen it, are you going to go watch it now? Do you care? Again, I genuinely couldn't give a rat's ass about the Oscars. Honestly, I think they're... It's just a big circle jerk. Because, you know... And, and you've even got now uh, John Legs, Leguizamo... Uh, going, oh, where's the Latin representation? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, it's your peers that didn't vote that in. Your peers. Stop ranting at the people. That is literally your peers saying that Latin representation at the Oscars this year wasn't, you know, a focus for them. So just focus on that instead, buddy. Um, so I don't really care about the Oscars. It's, like I said, it's a big circle joke. I'm not interested in it. But for once, I'm looking at this going, yeah, okay, they got it right. Like, holy shit, they've actually got it right. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. Cheers, ladies and gents. Take care.